Okay, so now um, my my uncut stickers have come in. So these are the colors I will be using to sticker the two by two by four. So what you want to do is you want to know what um, colors you want where. So what I want is I want white and yellow um, to be the two faces that have four stickers on them. So that would be this side and this side. And then these other four colors are going to be around. And so that means they will be using this guide. So for the white and yellow, you want to use the square. And for the other ones, you want to use the rectangle. So now, to cut your stickers, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start with red, just so that if I'm it's the first one of these. If I mess up, you know, it's a dark color. It's the only dark color, so I don't know. The mess ups won't be as bad. It won't look as bad. So what you want to do is you just you want to take your guide and you want to put it over. Actually, flip it over, and you want to put it over. Now, if you have um, uncut tiles, this this um, method will not completely work. You have to use a paper clip. What you want to do, if you have stickers, if you you want to put your guideline on top of the um, sticker sheet on the back side, and you want to line it up with the corner so that it is as perfect as possible. And then you want to just take your pencil or pen, I'd recommend pencil so you can erase it. So you want to take it and you want to draw a line around your guideline so you know where to cut. Now, if you have tiles, you will not be able to um, use pencil or pen to draw a line on the back because I don't know why, it's just the material is different and you cannot draw lines on the back of tiles. So, you just have to. Um, if you have tiles, you want to take your guideline and you want to put it over like this, just how I did it. But then you want to paper clip it. You want to paper clip them together and you want to cut around it. So that's how to do it with tiles. With stickers, you can just um, draw your line and then either use scissors or a um, cutter that works like this and you want to cut your um, sticker out. So, yes, and so the same thing applies for the square. You go like this, flip it over, line up the square as perfectly as possible because if you made your guideline the right size, then your sticker should be just a tiny bit bigger than your guideline. So what I did is my I made my guideline a millimeter shorter in length and width of what I wanted it to be so that it wouldn't end up too big. Draw your line and there you go. Now here, just cut it up and so once you do that, uh, you just want to work your way all along until you have four of these. So you need four whites, four yellow squares, and then for the ones that go around the side with these, you need eight of these. So you will... yeah. Um... yes. So, and then you'll have stickers left over for next time. So, I'm going to cut mine, and then I'll get back to you. Or at least I'll cut the first two. 
Okay, so now I have cut one rectangle sticker and one square sticker. So now applying them to the cube, and you just want to make eight of these for each color and four of these for each top and bottom color. So you want to find the top and the bottom. So here's the bottom, here's the top, and here's the four layers. So the top, just want to check and make sure. So you want to sticker this. Make sure it's a good size. Yes, this is a good size sticker. So now, to apply the sticker, you just have to um, peel off the bottom, and then it's already already it's already sticky. You don't have to glue it or anything, and peel it away and then you have a sticky sticker and then let me move this over, I want to make sure this is perfect so you're going to have to watch from an angle no uh, and you might want um, just a little blade that you can stick the sticker on so that's you can make it as perfect as possible. Wow, this is the biggest sticker I've ever applied to a cube. By far. That looks good. So just press down. And try not to get any air holes under there. So there you go. And I have it in the right spot. Okay. So there you go. And you can kind of see where the pieces went. You can't see it under the camera. There you go. You can see the lines there where the stickers were. And you want to make sure that there's no um, glue or adhesive from the previous stickers left on the face before you apply the sticker. So with that, let me find a a section that I can sticker without any problems. Okay, here's a good one. So I'm going to sticker the red one right here. And the sticker is a pretty good size. It's not a perfect rectangle, but it's pretty good. So you just want to peel this away. There we go, there's your sticker. You're going to stick it to your blade. And then apply. Make sure you've got it in the right place. Okay. Okay. There you go. I got just like two teeny air bubbles. So, just one over here. So there you go. You can kind of see the line. So that's how to sticker your two by two by four. And so yeah. Um, I will see you when I am done stickering it. Good luck. And if you need more help cutting like the tiles or stickers, I'll put a link in the description or down there to Monkey Dude 13 13's how to properly cut tiles for your for custom puzzles. And that doesn't only apply to tiles, you can also do the same stuff to stickers. So, when you're done stickering your 2x2x4, it should look something like this. And hopefully yours turned out better than mine. Um, if you use tiles, that would be good, because then you can... Because through tiles, you can't really see these lines where the um, cubies were glued together. 
on my bandaged cube, I tiled this, and you cannot see, um, unless you look really, really closely, where the cubies were joined. So, um, tiles would be good, but you get you get a lot more use out of the stickers because you get a lot more of it for just yeah so yeah so I'm thank you for watching I hope this was helpful to you and I hope yours turned out well so yes that's all I have to say thank you for watching and have a nice day